Welcome back to my favorite place on earth, the Afternoon Express dining room table, where I am ready to eat. Now it is that time of the show where we get to enjoy all these beef and vegetable inspired meals, and we honestly can't wait. So let's dig in. Do me remind us, what did we make? Uh, today we Smash made um, uh, oxtail, and then we have also a T-bone steak with potatoes, and we having uh, tripe, mm. the pasta. Well, yeah, tripe, definitely the different way. I've never enjoyed pasta like this. Um, so I think that that is a highlight of mine and something that I'm looking forward to trying. And for yourself, Dumi, I see you dove into the oxtail. You know, Balasa, I'm about that oxtail. And as you can see, Balasa, to show that it's cooked perfectly, it literally is falling off the bone. You know, the, the bone is almost slipping out of there. So that's exactly how you want your oxtail to be cooked. So I'm going to start with that, and then I'm going to go into this tangy tomato tripe that we just made. Mm -hmm. Love that. I want to taste the tripe. <laughs> Chef, what flavors are you looking for when it comes to that tripe because I'm used to just making tripe the old school way, Jay, with nothing much. The, mm. the old school way, I love that also because you're getting the strong tripe flavors mm. in it. But this one, you're getting the acid from the tomatoes also. Okay. This is, this is more of the new, what, what am I calling it? New My age. grandmother wouldn't eat this. <laughs> <laughs> but the new age people would love this type of tripe. Definitely. I'm going to have some of this tripe as well. Brilliant. And on that note, here comes the big taste tester. So it already, as soon mm. as I put my fork onto that uh, piece of tripe, it went straight tender. in. Stand it's up. tender. Mm. So here's to um, the flavor. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Something different. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that we did something different here, Dumi. Adding, oh, I, I taste that garlic. Mm -hmm. You know, as soon as I thought I was done tasting all the different elements and all the different flavors, wow, okay. I definitely taste that garlic coming through. It's tender, just like you said. But I'm normally afraid of tomato bases mm -hmm. because tomato bases can yeah. kind of suck yes. a punch you, that acidity. But this is quite mellow, quite mild, beautiful. Definitely, Balasa. And it's not too tangy where you feel like, you know, when it hits the back of your, your tongue here where you make that face? Yeah. It's not that at all. It's beautifully perfect. Pass me the oxtail, please. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Can I also ask you, Balasa, to uh, dish up some of that steak for me? I think I want to have it because yes, most please. people want their steak well done. I'd like, I think this is how I like my steak. You like a Medium little red, red, huh? I like a little red on And it. on that note, do me, uh, please pass me that side plate. Sure, you know, it. I cannot let you go without a good quiz. <laughs> so today's quiz question goes a little mm -hmm. bit like this. As much as we all love Bambi, mm -hmm. but deer meat is a favorite for hunters and of course others around the table. So what is the name of deer meat? Deer What's... meat um, that we call venison. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is called venison and I mean like the flavors are beautiful also you get the caminess mm. through caminess from it. Yeah. Absolutely. It surely is venison. Do you enjoy yourself a good venison? Piece of venison? Yes, I too actually. Mm. They are with a glass of red wine. Mm. Perfect. Voila. Mm. Well, I think um, you've also done a sterling job here. Everything looks, smells, and tastes even delicious. Which leads me to our social media question. We wanted to find out from South Africans if you could eat one meat, and mm. one meat alone, and for the rest of your life, until the day you die, what meat would that be? Chef, what would it be? For me personally, lamb racks. Sweetness, soft, mm -hmm. tender, that's it. Yeah. Lamb. Mm, wow, I can't even talk. This, <laughs> this oxtail? I agree. <laughs> so good. Do me, if you were to answer the question. I agree with Chef, actually. I think lamb for me is the one meat that I could eat top to tail. I mm. could enjoy any part of it for the rest of my life. I'm good with lamb. You know, I've always said chicken, but uh, this oxtail <laughs> is a working. good contender. Now, the only beef we'll have with you is if you don't head over to afternoonexpress.co.za right now for these mouth-watering recipes. Chef yeah. Apelele, thank you so much for today, but you will be back, ne? Yes, I will be back. Thank you guys for having me again, yeah? Exciting. Amazing. Catch us again on Thursday from 5.30 p.m. for even more irresistible beef and veggie dishes with Chef Apelele. But until then, Mzanti, good night. Stay safe, good night, and happy eating.